Hello and welcome. I hope you're doing well. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I draw MLP bodies uh, from start to finish and we'll be doing three poses, one simple one, one kind of in a dynamic or at least moving pose and then one that's a little bit more tricky. Uh, so first things, uh, let's make a layer, well, not a layer, a folder and then we'll title this uh, reference because we're going to be getting some pictures of real life horses first. This always helps in just kind of having a guide of where things are placed like the legs and such. So we'll start with this simple one and we will grab this, bring it on over and paste that. Okay, and let's get started. To begin, start with a circle and then determine the direction of the face using some simple lines so and this will be the base for the head now once you've got this we're going to start drawing a neck and try and do nice loose strokes while you're sketching and don't worry if it's a bit messy because it will be cleaned up later with the line art. Okay, and while we're doing this, uh, try to imagine the 3D form of all the shapes. So even here, I'm going to kind of show direction of the neck of the cylinder and make all these lines going into the chest. And this sort of makes a bowling pin shape here. So we're just going to make this an oval and you'll see it looks like a bowling pin. I'm just going to adjust the proportions a bit. It's a little bit too long. Okay, now that we've got our bowling pin, uh, I'm going to uh, make a circle that's going to be the rear and I'm going to connect this in sort of like a bean shape We're going to show the form of this sphere. I'm going to make this more level. There we go. Okay, and now let's figure out where the legs are. So we're going to be putting some circles indicating where the top of the legs are. The back leg. Well, this actually we can just do a whole shape here so it's kind of this pear shape going out of the back side you can kind of see the 3d form there and then we'll do a circle here where there's this little uh, joint thing i believe it's called a hock joint on horses and i'm going to show where the shoulder blade area comes. I don't know if it's actually a shoulder blade, but uh, I just know that the shape comes down here. We'll do a curve for the back. And now we'll do the front legs. So at the top in the front, it kind of bulges out like this in a uh, sort of sharp semicircle shape and then it smooths out and becomes a bit more straight. We'll just swoop that down. Let's make more space. Okay and then we're going to look at our reference and see how this area of the leg connects. So it's a line that comes up into the body here, 
and then it swoops away and then there's going to be sort of like an elbow shape here it's going to go down there's another joint here and then that's going to come into the hoof which will do sort of a, a slope here and then bring this straight and there's a little if you look over here there's like a little bump before it goes into the hoof and so we're going to show that so make this little sort of indent and then make the base of the hoof here and we'll neaten this up in the line art but for now we just need the the general shaping of things and I think let's bring this part a bit higher now that that's done let's do the left front leg so very similar, it's just coming from behind and we're going to swoop that down and the angle of this hoof is going to be a little bit more to the side because it's not facing directly towards us adjust the angle of this a little more all right let's go on to the back legs so coming from the rear here uh, gonna do sort of like an S curve like this And then we're going to do this shape here, which is going to be the knee. So we're going to draw the knee area here. It's going to be like a little bump, and then it's going to go out a little bit more into the body. And then where this front bit of the body overlaps, we're going to be doing a line that comes up like so. Alright, now we're going to draw a line to show the direction of the back leg. And let's make it sort of neutral, so not too straight, but kind of like this. And we're going to make that bump at the back. And then that's going to come down. And then again we're just going to do another line going into the knee and then one more over here to show the base of the hoof and then we'll do that little bump thingy It's a little bit thick so let's push that down there we go okay now for the final leg so we're going to try and imagine where the other leg is in 3D space and we'll draw from inside the body coming out and make that curve.
Then there's that angled bit. I think I made that a little bit too high compared to the other one. We'll start from here and then we'll go down. Let's bring that back. I think it's too much forward. Okay, now we're going to be placing the ears. So I start at the back of the head and then make this sort of potato chip shape and then we'll do another one over here and then the way I like to do the inside of the ears is I do this so I do this curve and then I come back around and do this little loop and then I bring it back in and it sort of closes in on itself, kind of folding. Yeah, so that's how I like to do it. But there's different ways if you want to do like, if you want to do some ear fluff, let's say you do the ear and you can do this and you can just make that loop bigger and then you can do the fluff coming out like this and then maybe do a bit more of a line. So there's another option. Uh, I used to do that a lot, uh, but currently I'm liking the closed ear look. Okay, and now we're going to just show where the eyes would be so we can position the muzzle. So an eye there, eye here. I think uh, in the line art I'll do a all right, let's let's just do a simple little face here, so it's a bit more complete. So this isn't a tutorial about the eyes, so I'm just going to speed through the eyes quick, and then I'll uh, show how I like to do the muzzle, and then we'll continue. Now that the eyes are there, let's do the muzzle. So I make a vertical line here, and then through trial and error, I try to make this curve coming out here for the nose. So I'll do one sort of like an S motion, uh, and then you control the shape depending on how you like it. And once that's done, I'm going to start uh, making the expression. So we'll just do a simple little smile. So I'll start with where the corner of the mouth will be. And I try to sort of get the general uh, angle that I want. And once I've got that, I do a little upside down U to show sort of that uh, upper mouth shape. This, and then we'll draw in the little corner of the mouth like this. And now we'll come in from here and we'll start doing the um, chin. Well, actually, first let's let's do the forehead. So we'll do another line coming down from the end of the eyebrow, and we'll curve that forward to make the cheek. And you can play around with different uh, cheek shapes depending on the body type or how you want the face structure to go. And we'll bring that down which will connect to the chin. And now we'll begin making the jawline. So we'll draw this chin. It's a little bump here. You can make it more pointy if you want, but I'm going to make mine a bit rounded. And then we'll make a line coming up like this. And then the back of the jaw here. And then we'll just do a little 
curve here for the back of the head. There we go, and we can put in a little nostril. And now I'm going to raise this up, this line up a little bit. The forehead. So there's this small curve here, and then it raises up just a little bit, making that forehead shape. Here we go, let's adjust this ear a little bit, because I think it's a little bit too much to the side. Yeah, it seems a little bit more correct, though the way it's facing isn't right. I'm just going to change that quick. Yeah, maybe that's better. This video is dragging on longer than I thought it would, so I'm going to move on to a time lapse of the sketch that I've already put down. And then in another separate video, I'll try and talk and explain uh, what I think about when making more dynamic poses. So uh, please enjoy the time lapse and I hope you uh, learned something from this. I hope it helped a little bit. I'm still getting used to kind of uh, talking on, on for these videos and it's a bit difficult and I'm trying to articulate my words a little bit. So anyway, bye bye.